Hey there, it's Miss Gates. I hope everyone's having a great week so far. I haven't seen you guys in a while, so I'm excited to share with you our lesson today on internet safety. We we're talking about the um, lessons that we talked about before, which is don't fall for fake. And this is part two, activity two, which talks about, um, let's see, let me pull it up here. Here we go. Who are you really? So we're gonna be looking today and remembering that when you're online, the audience that you're talking to might be bigger than you think. And I want you to make sure that you can confirm and make sure that you know the person that you're talking to or the identity of the person that you're talking to online and make sure that you stop and think before you friend or you connect with someone online. Also be really careful about who you give personal information to. Things like your last name, your school, your address, those types of things. You want to make sure that you're not sharing those types of things with people that you meet online. And asking questions or getting help from an adult if you aren't sure about something. Always tell an adult if somebody makes you uncomfortable. And act with honesty when you're online. All right, let's talk. How do you know it's really them? When you are interacting with someone online, whether it's through a game, um, an app, or something else, you want to make sure that how do you know it's really the person who they say they are. One of the things I look at is if, if you're on a site that usually uses real pictures of people, like their profile photo, if it's a little blurry or if they use a bitmoji or a cartoon, just be careful because it might be somebody hiding behind that pretending to be someone else. Also, does their username contain their real name? Because sometimes people will use a real name, and that might make you think that they might be more um, real of a person. And then does their profile, the information about them, does it have a little bit of background, like maybe some of their friends or how long they've been on the app? I'm really careful with people who haven't been on a site for very long and don't have many friends because it makes me wonder if they're just pretending to be someone else. Also, look and see how long has their account been active because that might tell you that they, if they just opened one up, that might be something that people do sometimes is they open up lots of different accounts over and over and try to pretend to be someone else. All right, we are going to watch a video now talking about Timon and Pumbaa. I'm going to pause it um, while we're watching it and we're going to stop and talk about some of the things that they're saying in the video. All right, here we go. multitasking Pumba. I know exactly where I'm going. <laughs> nice blue sky today, huh? Devices like cell phones, computers, and tablets can all be really great, but if we're going to use this technology, we have to be safety smart about it. Yeah, I know all about that, Pumba. Like, don't drop them or spill water on them. That's all true, Timon, but it's not the kind of safety smart I mean. I'm talking about keeping ourselves safe and not hurting others, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Let me just answer this first. T-I-M-O. What are you doing? I'm just giving this person my name. Who is it? I don't know. It's just someone who's asking. You don't know who... All right, so before, when you see somebody or you meet somebody online and they start to ask you things like, what's your last name? Or, I think I go to the same school as you. What school do you go to? Do you think that you should tell them? 
No, you should not. Never tell anybody that you meet online that you've never seen their face before. They're not in your class. You don't know who they are. They're an actual stranger. Never tell them that kind of information. You know who they are? No. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about, Simone. It's super important to practice being safety smart in real life and in our computer life. What do you mean? Let's say a stranger walked up to you and asked for your name, address, and phone number. Would you give it to them? Oh, of course not. Then do you think it's a good idea to share that information with a stranger on your computer? Good point. That's personal information, Timone, and it should stay private. You should never give out your name, address, phone number, or any other personal information. Okay, okay, I'll be more careful. We have to be. With computers, we're connected to the whole world. What do you mean? I'm not connected to anything. You might not see an actual core, but... And that's the neat thing about our technology right now is that we are connected to pretty much anybody in the world as long as they have Wi-Fi. And the way that we do that is our computers are no longer connected using wires. We use Wi-Fi, a lot of us. And that, that signal from your computer is then sent up to a satellite, which is in outer space. And that satellite might connect to another satellite, which then sends a signal back down to another device. And that makes us able to talk to people in other countries and the other side of the world. And it seems like they're right next to us that we can talk that, that easily with each other, which is pretty amazing. But also remembering that you might be talking to somebody that lives in a totally different country than you in some other place in the world. So just remember that. But yes, you are. Oh, come on. To what? Well, whether we call it going online or internet or the World Wide Web, it's all the same. It connects our computers, our tablets, our phones, and even our TV. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so that is the end of that. Um, let's see. We'll come on back. And I just wanted to share now um, a little bit about situations that we might get ourselves into sometimes when you're online. Um, I know a lot of us play games like Roblox and Minecraft. And if you're in the older grades, you might be talking with some people online. So you want to make sure that you... Um, are careful with the information that you share. So we're going to go and look at what we call a scenario, which means that it's something that somebody may have said to you. And, and this is what it says. You get a message request online from a stranger and it says, Hey, you seem like a fun person to hang out with. Let's have some fun together. Can you add me to your friends list? Jason. So what do you think? If Jason asks you to be friends, what would you say? I'm curious, yes or no? Now, some of you might say, yeah, sure, why not? That's no big deal. Some of you might say, nope, I don't know Jason, and I don't think I should be friends with him. So my, my warning to you is if you are older and you decide to be friends with somebody that you don't know, which I do not encourage that, um, you have to be very careful that you don't share things about yourself. Like never, ever tell them what city you live in, because it's one of those things. If somebody knows your first name and your last name and your city, and especially your age, it's very easy for them to find out kind of where you live and find out a lot of information about you. So just be very careful. And I don't encourage being friends with someone that you're not friends with. Hopefully you have enough friends at school, in your class at, and anywhere else that you um, see people that you can be friends with people that you actually know. So it's okay to do this with people that you know, of course, like in your class, if your parents are okay with it. But if they're not, you want to make sure that you're very, very careful. Okay. So today we're going to think about the most important thing you learned today. And if you could type it in the comment section, what is something that maybe you might do a little differently next time you're online and you see somebody that wants to be friends with you or wants to play the game with you or invite you to be in their circle? What are you going to do a little differently and how can you be careful with what you're doing and how you're playing with them online? What are some of those things that you can do? So go ahead and make a comment in the comment section of this assignment in the classwork section. Um, and I'll see you all later. I hope you all have a great um, rest of your week. I know we're on a countdown to the end of school. We've got about 24 days as of right now. So 
I uh, look forward to seeing your comments and I'll see you all soon. See you later.